Hey, what's up? What's up, William? What's up? What's up? Hello? Hello, William. Uh, Gabriel, what's up? What's new? What's hey, up? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, guys. Uh, doing good? Va bien? Doing good with the, with the rain? What about the rain? Que de la lluvia? Over uh, where you live? Donde vive? How's the rain? Good? Easy. Yeah, it's yes. Is it raining? It's raining at the moment? From here. Okay. But uh, no problem Sorry. with the internet. Okay. Uh, what about your I connection? I have a little problem. Ah, okay. A little problem with, with the connection. Okay, no problem. Good, good. Let's try to remain connected. Tratemos de permanecer connected. No problem. I know that the rain causes interference and kind of slow, but here we are. Pero aquí estamos. Okay. Hello, Gabriel. What about you? How is it going? Hi, teacher. Well, uh, I'm fine. Um, here nowadays, raining a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, the same situation in the Salvador, right? In the com in the whole country, is raining. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see, but no problem. Thank you for connecting to the class. Uh, Carlos, hello, mister. What's up, Carlos? Hello, good evening. Good evening, welcome. How is it going? How is it going? Fine. Perfect. Mala la conexión de internet, porque me, me costó entrar. Quizás la lluvia tiene muy cargado los lo que sea, pero me costó. Yeah, it's, it's true. Uh, the rain uh, causes issues or problems with the internet connection. That's true. But thank you for, for being connected. Eli is connecting too. También se está conectando Eli. I don't know if Eli can hear me. Can you hear me, Eli? ¿Puedo escuchar? Uh, if you have problems, you can use the chat. Se puede usar el chat. Let me let me share the computer monitor. Okay. Uh, you see the pumpkins, guys? You see the pumpkins? The screen? You see it? ¿La ve? Yes. Okay. Okay, that's that's great. I am sharing. Ya estoy compartiendo ahí. Okay, guys. Uh, welcome, welcome to class number two of your level i'm going to open the presentation guys let me ask you did you check <clears throat> the the presentation number one did you check it out la revisó yes. i sent it to the whatsapp group you couldn't no pudo couldn't check it no pudo revisarla Yes. You did? Okay. In the case if you did, uh, did the links work? Funcionaron los links? Uh huh. These links? Oh, I don't have the links in this one. Okay, but I will add them. Lo voy a agregar. No problem. Pero revisó los links? Si funcionan? No, solo la abrí, pero no, no, no me puse a revisar así a talle los links. Solo oh, ok. Ok, you should, debería. Ok, en el, en el link, el del Google Drive, le va a enviar a esta carpeta. Pre-Intermediate Module 2, that is your course, ese es su curso. Cuando le dé clic al Google Drive link, lo va a enviar acá. Aquí hay unos documentos que luego vamos a usar uh, in the classes. But presentation one is already there. Aquí está ya la presentación one. Today's, I will add it. La de ahora la voy a agregar también. Así que, this is what you should see. Es lo que debería ver cuando le dé link. Okay? All right. 
guys welcome welcome to class number two let's see uh gabriel what is a level can you can you read it can you pronounce the words about your Pre level pre-intermediate model two okay that's that's great pre-intermediate model two let's remember indications uh william help me with the indications please okay indication Complete name, mm -hmm. connect on time according to schedule, no distraction, camera on during the meeting, be attentive, participation, participation in class is always important, work on the online platform, English Corporativo. That's it. Okay. Those are the indications for, for the course. Okay. Very good. That's it. Be at attentive, attentive, be attentive. Okay, good. No more. And remember, you can make your questions during the class about the topic, etc., or things related with with the course, causes del curso. Okay, let's see. That's not important. And the English skills, guys. Remember uh, the English skills uh, that we are going to practice in every class. They are for yes, practice. Huh? Okay. Listening. Yeah. Um, grammar. Grammar. Correct. And, and speaking. Ah, <laughs> there it is. Ahí está, la primera. Speaking, correct? The speaking. Uh, we practice the listening. That's it. Grammar. We check grammar as well. And important importante the practice okay very good and the tools the tools that we use in the classes okay let's see we are going to continue with this to practice a little bit more the topic about adverbs of frequency adverbs of frequency let's see uh, eli help me with with these two lines Please. Yes. Uh, adverb frequency. Frequency adverb are words we use to talk about the frequency we do sometime. sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, use often or ever to make question according with the pictures. Okay. Okay. In the first line, uh, the frequency we do something. Let's repeat oh, something. Something. All oh, right, yes, something. Okay, very good. Use often and ever to make questions according with the picture. Okay, check the picture. What do you see in this picture? What do you see? Tell me first. Mm, the, the grandfather. Ah, okay. Aha, uh -huh. he is a grandfather, correct. And she? Grandmother. Grandmother. And the boy? Nieto in English, uh -huh, correct. We are uh, practicing relatives, about relatives. Nieto in English. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, grandfather, grandfather is abuelo, yes. yes. Grandmother, abuela, and boy mm. or girl? Boy. Boy. Uh-huh. Grand son. Oh. Grandson. Nieto. Okay, very good. According with the picture, what is the question that you can do with often with this picture? Question with often? Example? Question how... Correct, yes. How often do you visit your grandfathers? Very good. Grandparents, grandparents. Grandparents. Yeah, that includes a grandfather and grandmother. I should include a grandfather and grandmother. Okay, good. How often do you, do you have a grand, grandparents, guys? Do you have grandparents in your family? You have? No. I don't have. I have grandparents. Oh, okay, I understand. Good. 
for the ones who have, para los que tienen, can be grandfather or grandmother. How often do you visit your grandparents? Can be your grandmother or grandfather. How often do you visit them? Gabriel? Uh, William? Jensi? Welcome, Jensi. Have grandfather's teacher. Ah, okay, no problem then. Entonces, no, no problem. Carlos, eh, Eli, Jensi, or Gabriel, how often do you visit? Mm, no. Okay, remember, the question is how often? It's open. That means that you can use adverse of frequency or time expressions like once, once a week, twice a month, etc. Okay. Uh huh. One, the, the answer, please. One answer. Only one. Solo una. How often do you visit your, your grandmother or your grandfather? I visit grandparents once a, a month. Once a month. Okay, that's pretty good. Very good. Okay. Now, using the same picture, question using ever, please. What is the question using ever? But not visit. You can mention any other verb. Ahora sin, sin usar visit, porque en often uso visit. How often do you visit your grandfather or your grandmother? But with ever, can you think in another verb, otro verbo, with the question ever? Example, do you ever, do you ever huh? enjoy with uh, your grandfather? Ah, okay, good option. That is a good option. Okay, I'm going to write it in this, in this part. Do you, can you repeat it? Do you ever enjoy? Enjoy. Huh? Uh, uh, Stand. Um, Ajá, para decir. Uh, do you ever enjoy being a star? Teacher, why ing? Porque ing si sí quiero decir estar, que no es to be. Estar. Yes, to be is zero estar. But there is a rule that says enjoy after enjoy the next verb ing. El siguiente verbo después de que usa enjoy siempre va ing. I enjoy watching movies. I enjoy playing soccer. In questions is the same. En preguntas se va lo mismo. Do you enjoy? Do you ever, sorry. Do you ever enjoy being with? Complete it, please. Complete it. With your correct oh, yes with your grandparents Parents. good that is the question correct answer what is the answer it's a close close question two options only remember so like those options the close question uh -huh. the affirmative in the affirmative is yes i do Yes, I do. Simple. Correct. Yes, I do. Le puede agregar más? Yes or no? To your answer. A su respuesta. Le puede agregar más o no? Yes, yes you yes. can. Puede. Yes. Yes. Of course. yes. Uh -huh. yes I, I do. I enjoy. Enjoy. Correct. Enjoy. Being. Language. With. with with? With them. My, uh, with oh, with my. them. Correct. Correct. You can use with them. Uh -huh. And them is replacing this. Cuando usa them, está reemplazando grandparents. But it's the same. Es lo mismo. Very good. Okay. Good, good, good. That's it. 
Next, next picture. Question with with ever. Question with ever, please. In the next picture. Mm -hmm. Question with ever. I'm gonna type it. La voy a poner aquí. What is the question using ever according with the picture? Uh, Gabriel, maybe? Mm -hmm. Would you ever play? Okay. Do you ever? Play. 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 Do you ever play? What is the sport? Baseball. 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 Do you ever play baseball, guys? Negative answer. What is the negative I, answer? No, no, I I don't. Don't. no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. All right. Play no, I baseball. don't. Or, no. This is la, the first option. Option one. No, I don't. Option two. No. No, I don't. No, I don't play I baseball. don't. All right. That's it. You can repeat. The same. No, I don't play, play baseball. Play. Or you play. can use no, that. I don't play that. That is for like that is four. correct. Four. You can use that. Puedo usar eso también. Okay, that's it. Very good. Question with ever. Nice. Okay, pretty easy. Pretty easy, guys. Nice. Next uh question using often. With this picture, using often. Hmm. How often? Oh. How often. often do you go swimming? All How right. Often do you go swimming. Uh -huh. To the Mexico Gonzalez, right? Because in Mexico Gonzalez, you can find a swimming pool. To swimming to Mexico, Mexico Gonzalez Stadium, you can mention. Aha. Uh -huh. Is a stadium. Okay, let's mention that. Okay, answer. One option for your answer, guys. No, I don't. Uh, in this case, cannot be no, I don't. Because the question is open. You need to give mm. information mm. in the question. Yes, that is the difference. How often is open? Open question. And do you ever is close? That is the difference. Wow. Uh -huh. okay. okay. One answer. One option for your answer can be which one? Remember. Using adverbs of frequency or time expressions. Example. Time expression. I huh? I go swimming to my Gonzalez Stadium once a week. I go swimming no. to blah 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 blah. Okay. Once a week. You said once a week. Okay, pretty good. This one is correct. Because you are using time expression at the end, correct? Very good. That's it. Or with uh, with adverb of frequency, can you make one with uh, adverb using adverb I, of frequency? I usually mm -hmm. go swimming. I usually go swimming, correct? Blah blah blah. Until here, hasta acá. Yes, I usually go swimming to Mexico Gonzalez Stadium. Okay, very good. No, in this one, no time expression, but you are using adverb of frequency. That is usually. Okay, that's it. Very good. Next, what is next? Okay, responding with adverbs of frequency. Let's see, you know them, ya los conoce. The zero percent is never, never. The ten percent hardly ever, hardly ever, hardly ever. 
How do you have it? Makes at the 50. Sometimes. 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 At 60. Oh, 70, often. sorry. 70 percent, yes. Often. And the 90? Usually. 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 And 100 percent. Always. 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 That's it. Okay. Let's see. Formula. What's the formula for simple, simple present. present in adverse frequency? Let's see. The formula is, it's pretty simple. Hmm? Subject. We, we need a subject. Plus. Plus, plus frequency adverb. The frequency adverb. That's right. Plus. Verb. Plus, plus a verb. verb. Mm -hmm. Plus, plus complement. complement. And a complement. You have already used it. Ya lo usó. In which part? In qué parte? In your answers. Giving your questions and giving your answers too. Okay. That is the formula. Examples. Uh, example number one, uh, please, uh, Carlos. What is example number one? Um, examples, Carlos never plays soccer. Okay. Very good. Gabriel? Sofia always goes to the church. Okay. Thank you, Eli. My mother often cooks the dinner. Okay, that's it. Very good. And finally, William. I always do my homework. Ah, really? That's good. That's cool. That you always do your homework. Okay, everyone should do that. Very good. No, no questions, right, guys? I think. Creo que no, right? It's kind of clear. Subject. Average frequency, check. The verb and the complement. That's it. Eso es todo. Next, next part. Adverse of frequency plus verb to be. Verb to plus be. verb to be. Guys, question for you. Do you see the verb to be in these sentences? No. Correct. No, but... There are no bird to be. What is the difference when you use the bird to be with adverse of frequency? Okay, it's not complicated, but it requires some attention. The formula for adverse of frequency plus the bird to be. What is the formula? It's similar. Subject. Huh? Plus, plus verb to be. Oh, all right. Plus other frequency. Mm -hmm. Plus complement. Plus the complement. Yes. In the previous formula, after the subject is at frequency at the frequency yeah. average, correct. But with the verb to be in this formula. The verb to be is after the subject. That means subject, verb to be. And after the verb to be is the adverse of frequency. It's a matter of order. It's question the order. Subject, verb to be, adverb of frequency. And the complement. Okay. And it says, it is a, the the verb to be goes before the adverse yes, of frequency. Yes. Okay. Let's check some examples to understand this part. Let's see examples. Number one. Carlos is always busy. Okay. What is the translation of that? Traducción de esto, please. Carlos está, siempre está ocupado. Siempre está ocupado. Correct. Okay, está that ocupado. is. Yes, yeah, siempre está. But in English, check. Así va en English. So, yeah, Carlos is always busy. But I've heard people saying, yo he escuchado a personas decir, Carlos always is busy. Is that correct? 
No. no. According with the rule, no, it's not correct. Carlos always. No, right check. Después del subject is verb to be. And after the verb to be, you can mention the adverb like this. Okay, number two. Sentence number two. Sophie and I are never late. Okay, very good. Sophie and I are never late. What is the meaning? What is the meaning? Sophie y yo nunca estamos tarde, algo así. Late is tarde, yes. Okay. But are the verb to be. Teacher, que el verb to be no era cero estar. Sofía y yo nunca estamos tarde. But llegar no es are, ¿verdad? No. 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 But in the context, in the context, yes. En el contexto, sí. Sofía y yo nunca llegamos tarde. Nunca estamos tarde. In the context, yes. But it's the same. Es lo mismo. In the context. O sea, lo que no. sea, nunca ah. estamos, ¿verdad? Pero se entiende cómo llegar también. Yes, in the context is uh, nunca llegamos tarde, correcto. Así es. Ok, good. Good, good. Next, uh, example three. I am sometimes, sometimes born in, in meetings. Yeah, that happens to me. Are you bored uh, in meetings, guys? Do you feel bored in meetings? When you go to a meeting? Sometimes. Where is bored? Bored, yes. I like this. Oh. Aburrido. Aburrido. Yeah, correct. That's it. With nothing to do. Con nada que ser, apparently. Okay. But when you use I am, cuando va a usar I am, check. The same rule, la misma rule. Subject, verb to be, other frequency, and the complement. And number four, number four. They, are, they aren't usually uh, patient for waiting. Okay, meaning, the meaning. Ellos, ellos no, no son, pacientes son pacientes para, pacientes para, para esperar. esperar. Correct, that's it, very good. But check, in English, the, the priority is with the verb to be. Verb to be, and then the other frequency. Okay. Uh, questions about this? Questions? Teacher cannot be uh, the opposite. No puede ser el opuesto. Carlos always is. Or Sophie and I never are late no guys this is the way así va okay let's check let's answer the next questions let's open these questions let me see i'm gonna select agency uh, you go first tell me one number please any number that you want to open number seven Seven. Okay. Uh, Gen Z, please read this question or ask William this question. Gen Z, read it to William. You... Okay, William. Do you ever eat? Hi, hi. I don't hear you. I don't hear you, Jensen. Okay, uh, William, you hear me? Do, yes, I hear do you. Do you ever eat sushi? There you go. Okay. No, I never, I never eat sushi. Okay, perfect. That's it. No, I never eat sushi. No. Okay, nunca como sushi. Okay, that's it. William, tell me one number, please. One number five. Okay, 
read the question to Carlos, number five. Carlos. Hi, Carlos. How often does your sister watch TV? Um, how often does your sister remember all the time that you see how often open question give information? How often okay, that uh, mm -hmm. I don't watch TV with my sister? Okay. It's valid. It's valid. Yes. Okay. Because she doesn't uh, live with live with me. Okay. All right. That's it. Good answer. Ah, uh, I don't watch TV because my sister doesn't live with me. Good. Okay. That's another option to answer. Good. Okay. Nice. Uh, Gabriel, number. Number, number, number. one. Number one, uh, read the question to, let's see, uh, to me. Read it to me. <laughs> okay, right. ask me. Teacher, do you ever go to the park? Uh, let's see. Not anymore. Not anymore. Is that, is that valid? ¿Se vale eso? Decir not anymore? ¿Qué es not anymore? No, nunca más. Ya no. <ríe> Not anymore, ya no. But that means that in the past I did it. En el pasado lo hice. Is that valid? Decir eso en una close question. ¿Se vale? Question. Is that valid? What do you think? ¿Qué piensa? Mm, yes, it's valid. valid. Yes, it is. Puede, yes. Uh, no, not anymore. In the past, yes. En el pasado, sí. Not anymore. Se puede. No problem. Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to read this uh, question number nine. Let me check. Uh, to, uh, let's see, Eli. Eli, question for you. Uh, let's see, tell me how often do you watch a soap operas? Yeah. Uh... Uh, you know, guys, uh, what a soap opera is? Soap opera. No, okay. Uh, soap opera, let's see. Mariela del Barrio is a soap opera. Uh, another one. Soap yeah. opera. Mariela del Barrio. Mention, mention soap opera, guys. Ah, la usurpadora, <laughs> correct, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. That's it. That is a soap opera. I never watch soap opera. Are you sure, seguro? That you uh, never watch? In the past. Ah, entonces no is not valid. Uh -huh. <laughs> la mía tiene que ser my answer. Not anymore, teacher. Ya no. But in the past, you, you watched. En la pasado sí veía. Okay, nice. Yeah. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. What, what was the soap opera that you watched? Huh? Which one was it? ¿Cuál era? I no remember. Betty. Betty, Betty la ah, <laughs> Oprah. For Francisco, right? Francisco de uh, Matic. Matic. Uh -huh. Pretty nice. Pretty nice soap opera. Nice, nice. Okay, good. Gabriel, question for you. Ah, no, it's repeated. Do you ever go to the park? Okay, I'm going to select number four. Uh, Gabriel, how often do you go to the church? Uh, hardly, hardly ever go to the church. Ah, all right. Okay, pretty good. Okay, good. That's it. I hardly ever. I. I hardly ever go to the church. Okay, very good. That's it. Uh, Eli, Eli, uh, how often do you visit your relatives or your family? Mm, I visit uh, usually my family. 
Okay. Okay. A small correction. Una small correction ahí. Aha, let's open the notes. Okay, I'm going to open. You said I visit. Así dijo, right? Yeah. I visit. I visit usually. usually. I visit usually my, my family. Yeah. Okay. I don't feel a difference. Okay, good. Is that correct? No. I mm, no. 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 I usually. I usually. I usually. Correct. Yes. To the visits. Correct. Check. There is the correction. I saw the correction. It says. I. Usually. I usually visit. My family. Correct. Okay. Respect the rule. Se respeta la regla. Subject. Next. At the frequency. At the frequency, correct. Next. Lost the verb. Is visit. In complement. In the complement. Now is correct. Now that's it. Is correct. Okay. That's it. Even if you have doubts, go and check the information. Is there? Si tiene duda. I don't remember. I forgot. Se me olvidó. Go and check. Revísela. Aquí está. All what you need. Todo lo que necesita es de fórmula. So, I'm just blah, blah, blah. Or adverse of frequency. Check. No, no, no. There it is. Okay. Nice. Let's see. Let's open another box. Uh, next agency for you. The next one is number is number eight. Guys, can you can you read it to her? Do you, Do you ever, ever play, play tennis? tennis? Hmm? Uh, that's it. I never play tennis. But you like it? You like tennis? No, I like. It? No, I don't. I said no, I don't. No, I don't like it. No, I don't. No, I, I don't, don't like. Okay, very good. Jency, question for let's see for Carlos. How often, uh -huh. do, how often do your children eat fish? Okay, Carlos. And I, I don't have a children's. Ah, okay, good, good answer. <laughs> okay, if you don't, so the question is not for you, it's for another person who have children. Okay, okay, no problem. And number 10, guys, for you, for you all, para todos, how often uh, do you cancel a meeting with friends? Okay, interesting. Uh -huh, tell me, how often do you cancel a meeting or a compromise uh, with, a, with friends or with a friend? Do you do that? Sometimes I cancel the meeting with my friend because it's raining or or I can or I can visit the uh, busy for it. Okay, that's it. Okay, very good. Good answer. Uh Gabriel and you, how often do you cancel meetings with with friends? Well I usually cancel mm -hmm. the meeting with my friend because uh they always like to to drink uh liquor or something like that ah okay and you don't drink exactly all. yeah okay. of course good reason okay that's why all right what about you jency you cancel your meetings uh with friends how often do you do that i sometimes cancel a meeting with friends for my children. Ah, oh, okay. You take care of your children. How many children do you have, Jensi? Three. Three? Ah, that's why. No time. <laughs> no time at all with three children. How old are they? How old? How old are they? What? How old? Uh, maybe, uh -huh. How old are they? Your children? How old? 
It's five years old, five. six years old, seven, uh, eleven, seven, eleven. Um, huh? uh, Forty, seven, um, eleven. Ah, okay, four, seven, and eleven years old. Okay, okay, good. Forty, good. forty, and. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. Let's clarify that. Clarifiquemos. 40, I heard 40, yo y 40. This is 40. 14. And this no, one 14. is 14. Ah, okay. Big difference, right? Pronunciation <laughs> is Sorry. no, no, don't be. No, no, se disculpe. It's fine. That happens. Pasa. Okay, but see, pronunciation in English is very important. Four, 14 Cheating. years old. Ah, okay, now I got it. Ahora sí. Okay, but a baby of 40, un bebé de 40, imagine, <laughs> with bird. Okay, <laughs> Aha. but that's not the case. No es el caso. Okay, and you, uh, let's see, uh, Carlos and Eli, do you cancel your meetings uh, with friends? How often? Um, I something cancel. Uh, when I feel so tired. Ah, good reason. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I prefer to stay asleep. Okay, you prefer, uh, you prefer sleeping. We have to say, debemos decir, cuando usa el verbo prefer, I prefer sleeping. Any verb okay. after prefer, cualquier verbo after prefer, or most of them, o casi la mayoría, when you use prefer, use ing in the next one. En el siguiente ing. I prefer sleeping, I prefer eating, etc. Okay. Eli? I never cancel meetings with my friends. Oh, for any reason? Uh, no. Okay, that's cool that you don't, that you don't cancel. Okay, very good. Okay, that's it. Let's see. Let's see what else we got. Yamasai, uh, besides this, aparte de, uh, adverse of frequency. Okay, guys, any question about this? Adverse of frequency, about time expressions. Average of frequency plus the verb to be. Questions? No, for the no, moment. No All right, let's check. Guys, in the presentations, you have these links. What you need to do is to click on them, abrirlos, and check. Adverse. Frequency. Adverse of frequency. In an English sentence, exercise. In English exercise. Sentence. exercise. Okay. Recommendation. Always read the indications. That is to understand better the exercise. Um, Eli, can you can you help me in the reading yes. of the indication? Where, where, okay. Where does the upper frequency always, never, often, seldom, Sometimes go in, go in the sentence questions choose choose or choose, choose the correct choose the correct order from the drop down menu 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 okay the menu okay good guys in number one what is the order we always go always go. Complement. School by bus. School, school by bus. bus. 
Okay. Bus or bus? Bus. 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 Okay. When you have doubts about pronunciation, do as a pronunciation. Go to the tool. Hay que ir a la tool. Ah, tra -ra -ra. Uh -huh. Grammar. Uh, pronunciation. Let's check. Bus. Ah, okay. Bus. There it is. Ahí está. Bus. Okay. Uh, next. Number two. I I often clean my room on Saturdays. Okay, okay, very good. Number three. They they sometimes use. Okay, the first one. Tablet in the classroom. All right. Number four. He, mm, never he, never gets, gets, he never gets home before 8 p.m. Ah, okay. Okay. Something to remind that, to remember, sorry. So, something to remember. When you use the third person, you have to use the corresponding rule in the verb. Check? Yes. 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 Uh, <laughs> because of the third person, yes. And that is in grammar, and that is in pronunciation when you speak as well. Five, number five. They, oh. they always, uh, no, they always, are always. Never, no. they are always, no, they, Option two. No, they always are, always they always are, are friendly. Friendly, yes. all right. Amistos. Okay, let's check number six. The children often, often watch, watch YouTube videos. Often watch YouTube, YouTube, YouTube videos. YouTube videos. All right, seven. I, I seldom, seldom make, make my, my bed. bed. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Eight. Our teacher. Is, often is busy. is off. Okay, often this one. Is, often is. Okay. Our teacher often is busy. 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 Uh, busy. 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 <laughs> Let's see. Ha ha ha. Check. Check. Let's check. Busy. 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 Okay, busy. That's it. Uh, busy, uh -huh. correct. Uh -huh. That's right. Do they never ah, walk? Okay. Do they okay. never work to the supermarket? Never work to supermarket. Okay, this one? Option yes. one? Okay, yes. option one. Okay. And number 10. We don't. Always have. Always, Always have. have. Always have. All right. Always have. Always have. Coffee, Coffee for, break. for breakfast. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Let's check how good you did. In this exercise, let's check it out. -na 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 -na. Uh, results. Oh, you, you answered. Answer. You answer. That's out for 10 cover. That is 80%. Is 80 that means that two answers are incorrect. Let's check. Number one is correct, 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 correct. Oh, the number five. What happened? ¿Qué pasó? What happened? Very ah, ha, ha. All right. Yes. Check. You said, or you selected, seleccionó. They always are friendly. Let's check the rule. They are always. Uh, 
they are always ah they always they are sorry they are always they are always they are always always in the complement is it the same as la misma according with the rule yes it is yes it is the same but no problem that is how we learn as is a friend doing exercises and practicing good and number eight what happened in number eight the same you our selected teach. selection of our teacher often this is busy. busy but the answer was our teacher is often busy correct okay check subject verb to, to be. be adverb in the complement that's it okay. okay clear on that clear okay clear the more exercise you do better you get entre más ejercicios haga más le le haya okay good uh the other number two uh, link number two let's check ah pretty similar frequency exercise uh, okay next number one she always option one or option two option one 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 Okay. She always does, does sport sport in the, the afternoon. Sport in the afternoon. Okay, number two. I, I open have option one or option of, two, guys. Often have. So often have. Oh, okay. Compliment. I shower when I get home in the evening. Okay. Three. My parents, My parents are seldom. Are seldom. Are seldom. Are seldom strict. Is strict. Is strict. Strict. Okay. Four. We sometimes go Finishing, finish, fishing, fishing, fishing up the fishing lake. At the fishing lake. lake. What is, what's fishing? fishing? What's fishing, guys? What's fishing? Pesca, that is pesca. Pesca. Ah, correct. Pesca. Correct. Fishing is the activity. Okay, fishing is the activity. Five. I am often tired. Uh, okay. Option one. I, I am often tired. Tired. Okay, that happens. Fix. She can never remember his name. Okay. She can never, never. can never remember his name. Okay. Option one. Option, option one. Option one. Okay. Just uh, just a tip in pronunciation. Let's can. check. Can. Uh -huh. can. Can, can it says it it appears that is can aparece que es can pero no es can es can't uh, let's check can 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 okay can from barbie el can de barbie just remember can. that can she uh -huh. can like. never remember his name all right seven he doesn't usually smoke. Usually smoke. Okay. In negative sentences, this is the priority. Subject, auxiliary negative, adverb frequency, and at the end is the verb. 
because it's negative, porque es negative. In the affirmative is different. Okay, let's check. They Never. They never have. They never have, never have enough, enough, time. enough time. All right. Enough. Enough time. That's it. Enough time. Enough time. That's right. Nine. Number nine. They never, never have, have, have pets. Ah, okay. This is in another tense. No, no. They have, they have never had shampoo. They have never. Had. They never have had pets. No, option one. one. Or two. I say never option one. Had. Option one. Lo que pasa es que está en un tiempo gramatical diferente que no estamos viendo, pero the rule is the same. La regla es la misma, right? Okay, but no matter with number nine. No importa. Number ten. Where do you usually spend summer holiday? Summer holiday. Usually spend summer holiday. Summer holiday. Usually spend. Option two. Option two. All right. Let's check. Ta -da -da uh, results. Yes. Ah, nice. Pretty good. That's great. Excellent. That means that you got it. Significa que ya le. Ya le ayó, right? <laughs> okay. With the exercise, see, uh, grammar is necessary. Then is the practice. Después, solo con la práctica. Quedándose practicando la regla. Okay, nice, excellent. Guys, do please the other two links. Hagan los otros dos by yourself, the other two links. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, we have this mini thing about uh, pronunciation. Intonation, speaking, can you understand the arrows? This arrow, where does it go to? Para donde va? The arrow? Oh. Up. It goes oh. up. Okay, and the other one? Goes down. Go down. Goes down. In pronunciation, we use them. In pronunciation, se usa. Up. And down. Examples. Uh, Eli, please. The intonation in English expresses high energy, emotions, down feelings. Ah, uh, okay. In English, this is pretty noticeable. Se nota mucho in English. People speak with high energy. For example, great to see you back. Example, emotions. I feel so proud of you in the previous exercise, guys. Or down feelings. Example. Or, I, I have a lot, a lot of problems in this moment. That is pronunciation or intonation in English. Okay. Uh, in this one, what is the feeling? In the first. Sad. 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 Down. Ah, that's right, when you are sad. In this one? When you are happy. The opposite, correct. Okay, very good. All in intonation examples. Can you read it? You are really fit, Paul. Ah, okay, at the end, the intonation decreases. Se va para abajo. You are really fit, Paul. Next. She looks tired, James. She looks tired, James. That's right. Three. I feel great. I feel great. I feel great. Okay, I feel great. Even though you right. said great with emotion, the intonation at the end goes down. Okay, very good. And let's see. That's it. That is falling intonation. Rising is in questions. La que va para arriba es en preguntas. Uh, with auxiliaries, basically. But not big deal. No hay tanto ahí. Okay, guys. Very good. Good, good. Thank you for participating with uh, during the class and with the extras. Nice, nice, nice. Very good. Nice, nice. Okay, guys. Um, see you tomorrow for uh, class number three. Guys, don't forget, 
section one and the section two for this week as okay. you received the, the message in the WhatsApp group. Section one and section two, oh, please. Okay. 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 okay, pretty good. See you guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you, teacher. See you. Bye bye. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night.